What's going on guys? It's Wild Whiskey Wolf. And today I wanted to talk with you guys about something we did with the ZX-10R. We upgraded the battery inside of it. So today we're gonna to be talking about upgrading the battery in your Superbike, specifically a ZX-10R. This is a 2021 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the upgrade from the stock battery. We're gonna go over my battery setup uh, and the battery specs for the battery I have, um, installation for the battery I have, and also links down below to purchase all of the items that I'm talking about in this video. So I already removed the rider seat so we can have access to this battery. Um, if you need directions on how to do that, I'm gonna include a link down below for directions on how to get access to your battery um, to make all of this a lot easier to understand. But just to save time in the video, I already did it. So the first things first, why would you want to upgrade your motorcycle battery? So the OEM batteries that come on this bike are lead acid batteries. Um, and that's standard for most sport bikes super heavy and they do not last as long as lithium ion so not as reliable and much heavier you're, you're gonna shave off about five pounds at least switching to a lightweight lithium ion battery so weight savings handling safety all things that you're gonna get all positives on by switching to a lithium ion battery instead of lead acid and since the battery is essentially the heart of the electronic system of your motorcycle, switching or upgrading to a lithium ion battery, super important. And I would recommend anyone who's planning to, you know, own their motorcycle for a long period of time to consider making that upgrade. Just because you don't want to have to worry about any type of battery reliability issues at all. Um, plus, there's not a lot of other mods you can do um, where you're not uh, affecting, you know, sacrificing any element of performance on the bike uh, that shave off that amount of weight just like that. So this is actually a battery upgrade. You're getting better reliability, better power, more cold cranking amps, by the way, in lithium ion batteries, which help the bike start up uh, much quicker. So it's actually an upgrade and you're losing, um, you're shaving off weight. So great upgrade all around. So that's why you would wanna switch to a lithium ion battery. So as I said, I took off the rear of my bike already. Here's my battery setup. This is a Speedcell 5.0 AH lithium ion super bike battery. And as you can see, fits absolutely perfect inside the ZX-10R. And another thing you can notice as well is this doesn't require any modification from the stock ZX-10R battery setup other than installing the foam pads, which I'm gonna point out to you guys are, are on either side of this battery right here. You can see that there's two foam pads and it utilizes the stock battery strap and then just a set of foam pads um, and that's it and that's all you need and what you do is you basically cut the foam pads um, so that they fit on either side of the battery and then the battery just fits snugly in between there it's a perfect fit and um, as you can see it's considerably smaller than the OEM lead acid battery way lighter this comes in at 2.2 pounds so super light and this battery is going to be good for 600 cc all the way up to 1400 cc in racing application i know it says racing application or speed cell mentions that but this is going to work for basically any street bike any sport bike um i've used it on two or three different sport bike models now and i've had no issues at all um with any of the electronic system. Everything starts up perfectly, never had any battery issues, powers everything. And as you know, the ZX-10R this year has a ton of extra electronics added onto it. 
and I've never had a single issue. So awesome battery and this is actually the first first thing that I do, first upgrade to um, any sport bike I get is just go ahead and get a speed cell, throw it in there, get those instant weight savings and um, just reliability and safety upgrade. So there it is. And um, the blue thing on top, that's the quick disconnect feature. And that's another reason I really, really like the speed cell batteries as opposed to other lithium ion batteries out there. Um, they don't have a quick disconnect feature. And that's one of the awesome things about a speed cell. Um, so just great safety features. Having a quick disconnect is, um, is an awesome feature for, for safety. And um, I'm gonna include down below some of the more specific specs for some of you guys who uh, are looking for more of the raw, you know, battery data type specs, um, cold cranking amps and weight and dimensions and all that. I'll put that down below so you guys can see that. Also made in America. So that's another reason that I really like speed cell. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually take the battery out here um, so you guys can see kind of a better, get a better grasp of the dimensions of it and how small it is. So we'll go ahead and do that right, right now. So here's kind of a close up video with the battery out. You can see that quick disconnect up top, super easy. Um, you know, just like plugging an outlet into a wall, just uh, plug it in or uh, unplug it and it's as easy as that and your batteries in or out uh, no need to be messing with bolts or uh, screws or anything like that super easy to get your battery on and off so here's kind of more of a close-up of the battery and uh, you can see some of the specs up here the website um, company name speed cell technologies model of the battery 5.0 SBK. Let me flip this around for you guys. So you can see very, very compact, small, uh, lightweight, like I said, 2.2 pounds. Um, the materials, incredibly high quality. Um, it's gonna have an IP rated expansion port, mil spec wiring for everything, um, and also high grade mil spec uh, syndrilical cell.